Hey y'all, it's Mary from Mary Cat Stitches, and today is March 9th, 2021. It's Tuesday, and it's a glorious day out there. A little cool, but it's sunny, and I thought that while I had the house to myself, before I get ready for work, I'd give you a little update. So I want to welcome you to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers, and for anybody passing through, I hope that you would consider liking and subscribing to my channel. So this is going to be a non-edited video just because I'd like to get it up and, and out while I have an opportunity. But I just wanted to show you some of the things that I'm working on and some, some plans that I have for the next week or two. So this is going to be in no particular order just because of time issue. So, moving forward, the first thing I wanted to show you is an update on my pandemic. This is a project that I try to work on when I'm off, just because I want to give it full concentration. I was lucky enough to be off on Saturday and Sunday, um, but this is kind of segueing into life update. My youngest, which is named, his name was Brentley, um, he is running track and field. And so even though he's middle school, he was able to run at state or high school. So we had to go all the way to Louisville, which is about four hours away from our house. And so it was a very, very long day. But I was still able to get some stitching in on Saturday and on Sunday. So this is what it looks like. And I filled in the boo-boo. There it is flawed, but I don't think it's too obvious. And you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like it is and just you know, it's just one of many, many motifs in the sampler. I don't think it's gonna be noticeable. And I worked the diagonal and a little bit of the fruit. So I'm gonna continue doing that and see where it takes me. I definitely need to do this diagonal just because I know that the other side of that motif that I just finished is going to be it's going to be in a different placement just because it's smaller. And I just want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. But yeah, I'm loving it. I know I'm not as fast as other people, but I'm really enjoying it. And my my friend Sharon from Magnolia Stitches, uh, we're, we're going to motivate each other. So she's a little bit, she stitched a little bit less than me, and we're going to root each other on. So join us, if you will, and we'll all motivate each other. Um, the next thing moving forward is my elephants. Sadly... I didn't get as much work as I would have liked. Chalk it up to old eyes. Um, when you get older, there's at least for me, there's certain things that I don't care for. And the thing is, is this pattern is colored. So, so when I make a working copy, it's hard to mark it off. It's hard, you know, it's a whole lot of symbols, but, and I'm, I'm stitching in the dark. Well, not the dark, dark, but very little light because of my husband. So this is one of the ones that when I go upstairs at night, I'm just going to have to do. But I'm going to move this to the burner, at least for now, until I get some of these other projects that I need to complete out first. But this is my definite I want to finish this year. But at any rate, this is what I've done. And I've basically taken it, this is almost to the end. There's a little bit left over here that's some lighter gray. And I've worked my way down a little bit. And um, yeah, every stitch counts, right? And this is done on some 28 count even weave. I want to say it's um, smoky white. And I love it. It's Lugana. And I did it on the printed side. It's only printed on one side. Oh, and as far as the pandemic, it's on 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. All right, let's 
let's see. The next thing is again with the old eyes so I'm really pushing to do this Mississippi State Bulldog I love PDFs however sometimes when you get people that do PDFs and you don't know until you purchase it the symbols are very tiny and I and so when I print it out especially because it's basically full coverage and the dog. I'm not making it that way because I'm just letting the fabric peek through on the white parts, but it still, I have to read each symbol. So I made a little error. It's something that I can cover up, so I'm not super worried. But um, I told my husband, until I get done with the muzzle of his face, I'm going to have to get on the computer and just zoom in and make sure that I don't make any mistakes going forward, but it's nothing that's going to, you know, be super obvious. So I'm not really worried about it, but this is what it looks like. And so you can see I've worked on this muzzle and I've worked on this jawline. And I'm going to continue to do all of that and then move my way down. And this is done on 28 count Monaco fabric. And I found, well, it doesn't really surprise me, but I was on a message board. I don't really post there anymore, but I like to frequent it just, you know, to catch up on news and whatever. And um, somebody was saying that they were having a hard time buying the Monaco and Bolt. I think they resell it or what? They own their own shop. And I think DMC who bought out Charles Craft, and Charles Craft was the maker of Monaco, is going to discontinue the fabric. I think it might be a supply issue with the cotton. I'm not really sure. It's a bummer. So if any of y'all like it, I guess you're just going to have to scoop it up when you see it because we may not, we may not get any anymore. But I'll just flip over to Monaco. I'm not Monaco, but I'm Lugana. But it was nice just go to the store and pick it up off the shelf. But you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to pass that on to you. All right, we're moving along very rapidly. Gee, it's five or 10 minutes. The next thing I wanted to show you is my definite focus on a finish. This is Miss Martha's Potty Shed. It is my second longest whip behind Tiger's, which it's not a UFO. I just, I just can't concentrate on it right now. Um, I was bringing this to work and it just wasn't getting as much attention as I was hoping. I did do some. I brought it home and I did a little bit more and I'm very close. So this is something that I want to work on at home, probably in the morning or whatever be, before I get to work. And hopefully I could finish it this month. But I'm sorry for the wrinkles, but see how close I am? It's I'm just so excited because the house is what I knew was going to be a little challenging. So I'm almost done with it. And then I feel like I'm on easy street because I just have a little bit of this tree and her dress. And this is done on 36 count Edinburgh linen that I dyed myself. Again, the only color change that I did was change the color of her dress. And I will be so happy to get this one done. It's not that I didn't enjoy it because I love Kathy Barrick. It's just, you know, I'm ready to move forward to other things. I got lots that I need to do, that I want to do. So that leads me into changes. The reason why I brought it home as well is I found a, fa a Facebook group, 21 Halloween Projects in 2021. I just joined it 
If I get 21, I get 21. But it's just a great way of coming together. And anybody that loves Halloween stitching, just, you know, share each other, other's progress on webs. It's a great motivational tool. So I thought that I would pick out an ornament to do and that I could do it at work. Something that is limited in colors, it's small, it's smaller than Miss Martha's Potty Shed, and something that was kind of realistic. So I decided to pick out Ritual and Spells. It was in the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2016 issue. I ripped it out, so here's what it's going to look like. And I only did it a little bit. I mean, I could show you what I what I've done. I just worked on it yesterday. Um, I had to change the color green because I didn't have it. But everything else I'm going to do, it just calls for three colors, which is black, gray, and green. And so this is some scrap piece of linen that I have. And I just thought it would look cute. So yeah. And then the only other thing was, is I got a little bit of haul. Nothing major. Okay. I got some needles that I really, really needed, but nobody cares about that. Um, I ordered this stuff for one, two, three stitch. I decided I was looking through my stash and I want to kit up. I'm not going to start it right away. But probably towards the end of summer, maybe into the fall. Um, I want to work on this Stacy Stacy Nash Primitives. I've never worked on her charts before. It's called Gathering the Greens Sampler. And so I thought, well, let me go ahead and start picking out the fabric and stuff. So I decided to pick 36 count light khaki linen. Looks like See, I think it will be gorgeous. And I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to just do DMC. I'm just going to find some equivalent and work and do that. The other thing, I have another chart because you know I can't resist um, Dutch samplers. I don't know what is it with them. I just love them. So I have one that's on back order. And then the other thing I bought, which I thought was perfect for spring, it was on sale, and it was Butterfly Biscornia from Tiny Moderates. Isn't that cute? So, to my sister Dawn, your project is next in queue. I am not working on that until I start your project. So basically, once I get done with Miss Martha's Potting Shed, and... I finish the present for my son's friend. Your your um, Mirabilia is next in queue. So I haven't done a fairy in a while, so I'm super excited. And that's about it. I think next week I'll do the giveaway. I forgot to bring the chart down. It's actually going to be a past the stash. But I mean, as long as you all don't mind that, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it next time around. So thanks for watching. Um, just a little life update. He placed 16th in the 200 meter on his race. And he started football yesterday. And he's so excited because he's going to be a linebacker. And that's my youngest son. So I'm glad he's thriving. My other son, Blakely, he's going to be 18 on the 13th. And he's going to go down and visit his brother with my husband. And they're going to go watch a game. He's got to watch his football team because that's where he's going to be playing in a couple months. And I'm doing well. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I hope to see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.